So if you're asked the question to find the probability of cracking the combination lock on a safe on the first attempt, if five different numbers are used from 1 to 35, well, the number, the probability of this happening is the number of ways this can happen. And there's only one way that this can happen because there's uh, going to be a particular order in the five numbers that are chosen between 1 and 35. And the total number of ways that you can choose five numbers out of the 35 is the permutation of 35 choose 5. Now, this will simplify because uh, 35 choose 5 is just 35 times 34 times 33. times 31. And this then is equal to 1 over 38,955,840. So that's A. Now for B, we're going to increase the number of digits we can choose from, from 35 up to 40. So now the probability of cracking the safe on the first attempt, again, this is going to be 1 over, and this will be 40, the permutation of 40, choose 5, which is 40 times 39 times 38 times 37 times 36, and that works out to be 1 over 78,960,960. And for C, the probability of cracking the safe if there are now 45 dig digits to choose from is going to be equal to 1 over the permutation of 45 choose 5 which is equal to 1 over 146,611,080. And this again is 45 is equal to 45 times 44 times 43 times 42 times 41. Now, the next question your MP3 player is set to random uh, is set to random and will play ten of your favorite songs. What is the probability that, first of all, the songs are played in order from your favorite to your least favorite? So for A, now the probability that this happens will be the number of ways it can happen. Well, that's one over, and the order the number of ways that uh, you can play ten songs will be one over the permutation of 10 choose 10, which is equal to 1 over 10 factorial, which is equal to 1 over 362, uh, sorry, 3,628,800. So B, the number of ways, the probability that it's going to play your favorite uh, two song favorite songs, first and second. Well, when we consider playing the, uh, your favorites, two favorite songs, first and second, well, that's a permutation of two choose two. And I'll explain the significance of that in a second. And then the rest of the eight songs is going to be the permutation of eight choose eight over the number of ways that you can uh, choose your favorite uh Sorry, the, the total number of ways that the songs can be played will be just like in part A. It's going to be permutation of 10 choose 10. And the permutation of 2 choose 2 is 2 factorial times 8 factorial all over 10 factorial. Now, the reason that this uh, 2 factorial, which is 2, is significant is because for your two favorite songs, your favorite song could be played first or your favorite song could be played second. So there's two ways that could happen. So for every 
uh, way that we're going to play the remaining eight songs, there are two ways that we could play your two favorites first. That's with your first, uh, your favorite first, or your favorite second. Now, this simplifies then to be two times eight factorial, and we could write this out as ten times nine times eight factorial. And these cancel. Two goes into itself once and into five as ten five times. So this is equal to one over forty-five.